The threat for severe weather has passed, but we do still have issues here in the Midlands because of rain on Tuesday. We're going to bring in our chief meteorologist, Efren Afonte, now. And I know you've been tracking this system the last couple of days. The severe weather threat diminishing, but the threat for rain is still out there. Yeah, there's no doubt that we're going to still see quite a bit of heavy rainfall. And we've been seeing that, especially over the last several hours, the concentration right now of the heaviest rainfall is in the upstate. And if you draw a line right along between the upstate and the northwest portion of the Midlands, from York County, right along Lawrence, Newberry, Greenwood, Saluda, all the way down to McCormick and Edgefield counties, and then going into Georgia. But all of this heavy rainfall, we've already had quite a bit of heavy rainfall earlier today since lunchtime in Aiken, Saluda and Newberry counties. But there's a lot more thunderstorm activity that's moving up. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is that we are still under a risk. But the good news is that it's now lower. We're now under a marginal risk. And this covers all of the Midlands and just about all of South Carolina. So the marginal risk means we still could see some strong not only strong, but possibly severe storms that may have 60 mile an hour wind gusts. The good thing is that we haven't seen that yet. Over downtown Columbia, the rain has stopped for now. It's 59 degrees, southeast winds at 13, but still gusting to 22. So we'll keep the chances for showers and storms as we go throughout at least the early part of the evening. And in the morning, we'll have a low of 41. It'll still be quite windy throughout the night. Tomorrow, it'll still be windy, but you would not believe it when you wake up. We're going to have a lot of sunshine in the afternoon where we're going to reach a high of 54 degrees. Now, the traffic is moving on pretty good, and though, as you can see, there's not a lot of cars over the flyover in 126 and 26 Carolina Crossroads, but the roads are wet and they're about to get even more wet. We're tracking all these storms in your forecast coming up in just a few minutes.